This next story looks like a lot of fun. Tonight, the city's newest restaurant is open, and you'd better bring your sense of humor. Yeah, Dick's Last Resort has become famous not so much for what it serves, but for the surly people who serve it. Here's RTV6 reporter Chris Profit. If you know anything about Dick's Last Resort, lunch and dinner comes with a big helping of attitude. And a lot of people think we're all about being rude. You talk a lot, you know that, right? You're worse than a woman. Everybody's definition of rude is a little bit different. Hello, it's food, you're not taking your SATs. And that's part of the concept for this small but growing restaurant chain that's distinguished itself with its ill-tempered servers and a barrage of double entendre. People come in, we make fun of you, you make fun of us. It's very comedy, self-deprecating, fifth grade humor, pretty much. When your hat looks this dirty, no one's going to think it's new, dude. Restaurant critics certainly would call it gimmicky. Servers spewing vitriol at innocent diners, dressing them in paper dunce caps adorned with personalized insults. But Dick's last resort isn't for food critics. I'm going to paper, I'm going to cover his face up. So, so, you know, I want y'all to enjoy your meal. It's hard to enjoy your meal looking at this guy. Look at that hair. All right. Or now. Or now. I like you already. It's not, your hair is not going anywhere. The downtown Indianapolis restaurant is the Nashville based company's 13th location. And while the motto is eat, drink, and laugh, servers walk a fine line between having fun at the customer's expense and offending them. But I know you don't got to go to your job, obviously. You want to diet for the winter? Cool. So you are not making a shopping list. What else do you want? Even, you know, hell has boundaries, so we have to set the limit. Dix keeps the rants rated PG, and company executives say that the apoplectic floor show is only part of the experience. That the food delivered by its core servers is what keeps customers coming back and the chain growing. I'm going to take his job, his job right here, this employee, this person. You ain't right. taking nothing from me. <laughs> So welcome to the city's newest restaurant. Better not annoy me. Ah, Baltimore Ravens on fire! It's been really entertaining and funny. And you'd better bring a sense of humor. Welcome back to the happiest place on earth, guys. Chris Prophet, <laughs> RTV6. Now, if you want a low-key meal, probably not the place mm, to go. Probably not. There is also a serious side to the restaurant chain. Yeah, Dix is a big supporter of charities, including the Wounded Warrior Program, and also plans to support Riley Hospital for Children.